Som huvudsponsor för Hello Actors VIP har vi på Stagepool fått möjlighet att träffa den Emmy Award nominerade rollsättaren Nancy Bishop. Nancy har rollsatt nästan 100 stortfilmer i USA och Europa och hon jobbar aktivt med att koppla ihop europeiska skådespelare med amerikanska produktioner. So Nancy, how did your career as a casting director start? It started quite by accident. I was a theater director and I was invited to Prague in the 90s uh, to direct a play. And I got there and it was an interesting time to be in Prague. So I stayed. I was the artistic director of an English language theater company. And because so many films started to shoot in Prague, they would call me and they'd say, hey, do you know some actors? And so that's how it happened. I mean, I, it was just being in the right place at the right time. Mm-hmm. And then, so I started in Prague with local casting and then I became more international and now I have an office in London as well. What are your number one tip for an actor coming to one of your castings? Number one tip, well, bring bring your personality with you. Um, be yourself because that is uh, what is interesting, I think, to the camera and to directors and to casting directors is is that which makes you unique. And I think sometimes actors are, try, are trying to hide who they are rather than to embrace it. Hmm. Thank you. So you have casted a lot of actors during the years. Uh, would you say that there's any difference working with an unknown actor versus a, a famous or well-known actor? Well, when when I'm casting um, stars, what I'm doing is um, it's a very different process because if they're at the uh, if it's an attachment project when a producer comes to me and says, look, I need some big names so I can get a green light, you know, so I can get the film made. Then it's just a matter of making lists, you know, with the producers and with with them telling me, okay, yeah, that's a big enough name. We can green light the picture and then contacting the agents. And that's a very different process than hiring supporting talent. You know, with supporting talent, it is a process of, you know, interviewing, auditioning and interacting with the actors. So, and that's more enjoyable, of course. Do you have any tips for Swedish actors wanting to do an international career? Yes, don't follow Yante's law. <laughs> <laughs> Yante's law is something I learned about when I came to Sweden, I think last time. <laughs> All my students were telling me that about this Yante's law where you're basically, ambition is a bad word, and um, ambition just means that you want something. And um, there's nothing wrong with with wanting to be an actor and wanting to work outside of your country. And many act- and many Swedish actors are doing it. And, um, you know, we have the internet now, which makes the world international, and it makes it possible to market yourself outside of your own country, if you wish. If you don't wish to work outside of your own country, that's okay too. There are a lot of actors who choose just to work at home, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, can you tell us a bit about your lecture here on Hello Actors VIP? What do you think people will get by attending this event? Um, Well, what I'm doing is I'm um, helping actors to find strategies for marketing, um, how to choose the right headshot, how to organize their CV. Um, It's not enough now just to be um, present on the Internet. You have to be interactive, too. Um, some people don't like social media, but it is something that's part of our world now. And so I'm helping actors to understand how to use social media to advantage. And um, and they're helping me learn, too. I mean, I, I, I learn a lot from my students, too, because they've found ways to... Um, to market and they share it in the class. So, you know, I, I try to be interactive with my student, not just me telling them, but them telling me too. Great. That's all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>